Hey, episode three, time to put this into the game. Yep, once you've done the textures right, all that's left is to stick it in the game. Eh, well, we can at least stick it in the game. I wouldn't say that's all that's left. So up here, we have the name of the block. This is also the name of the scene. Each scene is one block. Name it something that is unique, such that no mod will ever name their blocks anything like it. So I put the little company name in front, so that if anyone else creates a wedge reactor, it won't conflict with mine. After that, you go over here, and down here, into the Space Engineers Blocks section. We're going to be doing a lot with this later, but for now, all we need to do is the Export Subpath and the Export Settings. If your settings are red, hit the little plus button. You don't need to edit them. The defaults are fine, but they do need to exist. For the Export Subpath, Models works okay, but I've stuck it into a subdirectory off of Models just to be a little bit cleaner about it. And then we hit Export Scene as Block. We get some warnings, but that's okay. It just means that we're not survival ready. I didn't really expect to be survival ready that fast, did you? So what did that get us? Here we are in the mods base directory. There's all our blend files. And in models xpar, look at all this stuff created just a second ago. The important thing here are these XML files. It's created the large and small version, and each one has two XML files. This XML file just tells Space Engineers how to render our block. We really don't need to touch that. But the one labeled block def, that's really important. That's what spells, tells Space Engineers what our block is. So where do we put that? Because it's not doing us any good here. Well, obviously, we want to actually put that in the data directory under the cubeblocks.sbc file. This is the standard. You can name it something else if you'd like, but this is definitely what I would go with. What's in cubeblocks right now? Oh, it's almost empty. Look at that. What are cubeblocks? What, what is, how did this work? What is this? Go into your Space Engineer's core directory, go into content, go into data, and open up their cubeblocks. Yep, everything that they've, that they've done for their core blocks, we can do for our blocks. And all I've really done is copied the first couple of lines and then cut off the ends with a close with a set of closes. So it's an empty version of their cube blocks file. And what are we going to do? Well, this is a reactor. So let's go ahead and look up reactor. There are a couple of reactors here. This is the small block, small generator, large block, small generator, and the large block, large generator. Here we are. Let's clone that large block large generator. Put it in here between the two cube blocks. And there we go. This actually will conflict because the subtype ID matches the current large block large generator. And a whole bunch of other things are wrong, like the fact that the icon is for the large generator, and the display name is large generator, and all of that stuff. The model is the large generator. Well, what do you say we start to make a, take advantage of this automatically generated file? All we really have to do is cut and paste. Now you can, in theory, uh, cut and paste this block and then pick and choose from, from the other one, but I find that you're likely to misspell something or miss a, a critical element, so generally I go in and I just replace the pieces that need to be replaced. You only have to do this once. After that, it'll automatically update. We'll do that in the next couple of... You'll see that a lot in the next couple of sessions. So we have a special icon, but please note you have to create this icon yourself. Oh, I did that wrong. Um, if you did not create this icon yourself, it will crash. You will need to uh, either use a default icon or create it yourself. It's very easy. You just take a screenshot and compress it down to 128 or whatever. Uh, it does accept transparencies, and if you don't use transparencies, it'll look bad, but that's okay for now. The, uh, the cube size and the block topology are fine. The size and the model offset, uh, we could overwrite them. I'm not going to bother right now. Um, and then here are the model and the block pair name. These are important. So the model overwrites this and the block pair name overwrites this. Now there's a lot of other stuff in here, like uh, mount points and components and all sorts of other stuff, mirroring. All of this stuff will update automatically, so we're going to just leave this as is. What we've done now is we've created an exact clone of the basic large reactor, but we've gone ahead and um, put in our art. Now obviously, this isn't going to look absolutely fantastic, but our block is now in the game. Let's take a look. Play! Ouch. 
Should I want to drag you. Let me drag you. Drag. There we go. New world. Custom world. Mods. There's our mod. Put it in. Um, it can be anything else you'd like, but I'd make it creative. Because you're not survival ready yet. Grind, grind, grind. Grind, grind, grind. Grind, grind, grind. How long this takes really depends on your computer and how many mods you've got installed. There we go. Ah. So what did we call it? Rea oh, look. There it is. Our cheese wedge reactor. Well, our block is now officially in the game. Boy, it sure isn't shaped right. I mean, it's like taking up a 3x3 three three area and it doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's also not the right size in general. But it is in the game world. It's textured properly. It looks fine. Well, it looks as fine as it ever would look. And in case you're wondering why it's the wrong size, well, that's because it's a large reactor, of course. So if we take this large reactor and put it down here, this is exactly what it is. It's just different art. That's not going to stay that way for long, though. We're going to be changing it out in the next episode and putting in a whole bunch of additional stuff. We're going to be making this uh, pipeline work for us by defining exactly how large it is and all of that jazz in the next episode. For now, however, revel in the fact that it friggin' worked. It wasn't so bad, was it? Just had to name the textures the right things and uh, press play.